Oh man, so this is really crazy. You get what I'm saying? I don't know how Fenex two times decided to make this mistake. As I call it a mistake, as you know, I know the kind of man that J Prince Senior is, so he is not the kind of man you wanna be effing around with. You get what I'm saying? Like you don't wanna be on his enemies list and you don't want to be friends with his enemies right and that's how it goes so here we have j prince senior you know smacking fairness two times for doing the unthinkable and picking side with nba young boy you know in the midst of the whole beef and controversy that is going on get what i'm saying but before we get into it do me a favor smash the like button subscribe to the channel turn on notification bell so you get notified whenever i drop a new video remember this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything remains allegedly you get what i'm saying let's get straight into it okay so you know recently it was um finals two times coming in between what's going on between j prince and nba young boy and drake so let me take you back if you've been living under the rock right um nba young boy decided to fire some shots at drake right dissing drake in his new music and uh j prince wasn't happy about that right he wasn't happy about that he decided to caution nba young boy pull up on nba young boy in his crib right in utah he went to visit nba young boy you know it's not just an ordinary visit it was a pulling up he pulled up on nba young boy in his crib in utah and bad man happens to be there and he told nba young boy listen up drake is my son you have to remove him from your enemies list right because if you make him your enemy I'm automatically also your enemy. You see how it goes. Just like DJ Kali, we always say, I like what Drake like. So, J Prince was telling NBA young boy, I'm gonna be enemy with anyone who is an enemy to Drake. And that's how it goes. So, they did a lot of cautioning and stuff like that. And NBA young boy was so cold. You know, Batman was so cold. If you look at that picture, you gotta understand what I'm talking about. You get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, right here, you know, Fenice two times decided to use the the medium and use, you know, kind of maximize that attention that is going on between um J Prince and NBA Young Boy. He is trying to use it to drop a new song that he did with NBA Young Boy. And that's a crazy time for him to do that. Because remember, Fenix two times is Mob Ties, right? He's affiliated with Mob Ties. He was signed to Mob Ties. You know how it goes. And Mob Ties is affiliated with uh, J Prince and Rap A Lot. Because they are all family. You know, the music business is under the Prince family in Houston. And that's how it goes. You get what I'm saying? So, now the j prince is looking at uh finish two times like oh man this this boy gonna be crazy you get what i'm saying he's under me i'm the one handling his music career because you know when j prince jr is the is the founder of the mob ties and you know j prince is his pops i remember the mob ties is under the protection of j prince you get what I'm saying? It becomes more crazy because at the end of the day, you seem to realize that so many crazy things is going on. You get what I'm saying? So, man, now the J Prince, you know, smacked Fenix two times allegedly. You know, like you can't be picking side with NBA young boy on this situation because it's a crazy situation. So you can't be picking side with finance two times uh nba young boy on this situation because at the end of the day you are with me you are under me so you can go above me to become friends and make music or drop music with people that i'm having issues with you get what i'm saying because nba young boy is against the family and the family is you know the prince family so he's against the family drake is among the family you are among the family now nba young boy is coming to fire shot at drake who is in the family and now you two that is among the family is now trying to be cool with nba young boy 
it's all crazy so that's why i told you all if you think about whatever that is going on in the music industry most of this beef that we are hearing about is all fake fake you feel me like they are all fake and that's how it goes you get what i'm saying they're all fake man from a to z are all fake so because i can't just phantom whatever that goes on all these entertainers the only thing they desire is the attention that we are giving to them that's the only way they keep on making money just like youtubers when we make a video and post it nobody views the video we make no money you get what i'm saying so when people view the video we make money that's the same way with your rappers entertainers and everyone in the you know entertainment industry so i call like you know uh when leo doc was beefing with nba young boy he said that some record label came to him to pay him millions of dollars to keep beefing with nba young boy like you know to bring more fire you know into the beef you get what i'm saying but you know leo doc was so smart that he said no that's not the kind of energy i'm i'm looking for you get what i'm saying so you can imagine in a situation we are the industry is ready to you know pay you about two five million ten million dollars to keep beefing with a particular person right then you keep beefing with this person and this beef started becoming real and you guys started going off on each other you know running to each other and you know start shoot out and things start going crazy and someone might end up losing his life that's what the music industry is all about because the only thing they want to do is to make sure that you know they keep on fusing the situation between black people that are into the music industry because this is not about control you know this is about being smart enough to know the agenda of this industry man right the people in the music industry their agenda is to keep on fusing the situation you know to keep on making black people to keep on going against black people right then they sit back and watch the fuse goes on and that's the only way they can get attention to the music industry and that's the only one they can you know anyway they can keep you listening to their music listening to nba young boy and whoever they want you to listen to you get what i'm saying so man we have to start thinking man and at the end of the day for fairness two times to go against you know the street code is really crazy so i'm not kind of saying that fairness two times is doing what's right you know he's a man you know he makes his own decisions and stuff like that so everyone's decisions should be accepted should be respected right everyone's decisions should be respected just like nba young boy i also think that j prince should also respect nba young boy's decision right by you know making sure that he leaves him to his own opinion that's just the music he made and he decided to fire shot whoever there is he has freedom of speech so you know we are living in the world that everyone is trying to control everyone and it keeps on going crazy because nobody is really free in this world because you are not permitted to you know air your opinion and people doesn't come against you and stuff like that it's all crazy but if you are new to the channel make sure you are subscribing to the channel make sure you are turning on notification bell so you get notified whenever i drop a new video don't forget to also like the video and remember this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything remains allegedly you get what i'm saying but it's all crazy at the end of the day man like i will always say this the only thing i'm interested in right now is justice for takeoff right real ish man justice for takeoff because man the way take off that i'm not happy about it right so we gotta get justice for takeoff as well but nba young boy j prince finish two times you guys should camp man you guys should keep it on the low you know you guys should stay calm and you know let this situation go man it's nothing at the end of the day let's enjoy the music let's enjoy the entertainment and not get ourselves killed and not get ourselves in situation that you know we start fusing with each other it doesn't make sense at all you get what i'm saying so you all tell me what you all think under the comment section do you think that j prince smacking finish two times because of this situation is right or do you think that finance two times is just doing his thing let me know under the comment section man and you know how it goes man catch you guys on the next clip